music, music, music. Music is everything to me. I can remember music from all my past memories. Ever since I was a little dude, ever all my latest memories, you know what I'm saying? It's always about music. If it was R&B, old school, new school, hip hop, of course, all type of music, I was there. And I've uh, been a musician since uh, sixth grade, so we're going on about eight years now, and I play, uh, my main instrument is drums, but I've learned to play guitar, bass, and piano. And so when I write music, I really like getting to hear all the different parts of music come together and um, really love being able to express emotions through uh, music as well as lyrically. Music is my everything. I'm versatile, so I love all types of music. It could be from, you know, R&B to straight techno to country. It doesn't even matter. I feel that in order to, for the people who are interested in, in the music industry and trying to come up and get noticed, there's a lot of different things you got to consider. Above all, of course, is the music. And the music has to have a very, it has to be very good, but it has to also be able to touch people. Touch people, you want to try to think globally. You know, not everybody may know what you're talking about, but you want to try and reach out to not only your homeboy, but you know, the people in Asia or whatever, because you know, music can spread so fast nowadays. You almost have an advantage. The best advice I can give you is, don't have like a, a big head, because everybody, everybody has skills. There's people that's had 10 plus years of experience, and there's people who have like no experience and still really make it big. Man, all I can tell you, stay grinding. Don't ever let anybody, even if you do a show and it's a judge and they give their constructive criticism, more like their personal criticism and constructive criticism and it, and it hurts you, it puts you down. Don't let that hurt you. Don't let that, you know what I'm saying, stop you from doing what you want to do. Let that be your fuel to keep driving, to keep going keep going, keep going. Uh, the best thing you could probably do for yourself um, in the music industry would definitely be to learn how to um, not only work as a team and find that good sound and do what you enjoy because if it's something you're not enjoying you're not gonna you're not gonna last in the industry because you know you're gonna be doing the same thing every single day. In this industry you have to set yourself apart from everybody else. Because if you make crunk beats, you're going to be in the same barrel with other dudes that make crunk beats. If you engineer on the same program, you use the same plugins, you're going to be in the same group with everybody else. Got to bring originality. Got to be creative. You got to make sure you have something that nobody else has. Because in order for people to notice, they're going to have to notice something different. And it's going to have to be good. Um, a lot of times it's a singer's voice or how a guitar player and all that stuff just comes together in the arrangements and you have to find that perfect balance of making something um, creative um, and interesting without being too artsy to where you're just going to lose people. So you really need to find that good balance. I don't think there's a shame in, you know, taking some of the things that inspired you in the past from other artists and incorporating them into your work as long as there is a growth process. Even, you know, people say right now that Michael Jackson is not a gen genre and people like um, Chris Brown and Omarion and Usher just don't understand that. I don't really have a problem with them, but as long as there is a growth that you're not just doing the same, doing the same thing over and over again, trying to be like a certain person. Oh, it's, that's the best thing you can do. The most important thing you could ever do is, you know, really speak from your heart instead of just trying to, you know, get a one hit wonder. I'm making a track when I'm writing lyrics. I'd rather write something that I figured that somebody else wouldn't say or somebody else wouldn't have a guts to say. If I'm making the beat, I like to put stuff in beats that most folks won't put in beats. You know, I like to mix two different, two different styles. I'm from New York, but you know what I'm saying? I have an up north, down south lingo, up north, down south flavor. So a lot of my beats that might sound like they're going to be up north, I'm going to hit you from the side with something different. Being creative is really important, man. If you're not creative, then you're not going to go that far in this industry. When it comes down to expressing yourself, you're always going to have a lot of people's ideas. Um, 
going into play. You can't always wear your emotions on your sleeve because you got to work as a team, you got to work as a band and a group and all that, whatever it is that you do. There's all kind of people that you're going to work with, so it's important to have some sort of people skills and to be able to communicate your message in a very positive and considerate way. Teamwork is definitely needed. You got to have a proper team around you to handle day-to-day -day things, but musically you could just write yourself in the studio if you're capable and you could do your own thing and, and turn it out without even having another person there with you, but you, know, you may need an engineer or different things of that nature. But I mean, I think the most beautiful thing an artist can do is get together with another artist and let their ego down and come together with something positive and beautiful. If you don't got teamwork and you don't got, you know, a way of putting it together and telling them what you want, then everybody's just going to go different directions. It's great to have a good team on your side. I mean, if you got people that's going to be on your side to have your back, that's, that's beautiful. Y'all can make more money together. Because it's important to get along with them, obviously, because if you do end up on the road and you do travel, you're going to be with those people um, for many, many hours and uh, long days just on the road. And so you have to be able to get along with them and you have to be able to make music that everybody enjoys and not just has one ear. And it's always better to have more than one ear um, listening to the same sound at one time. So. Uh, I feel that right now, it's not really too good, but it's getting a little better. I think that people, I think that people got scared and decided to stay in the little boxes that they were in. I think especially hip hop kind of hurt the music industry, to be honest, because music industry was about free expression and things of that nature, and that's what hip hop was about when it first started. People wanted to express what was going on, but after a certain amount of time, you know, the box just got smaller and smaller in hip hop and people were scared to say certain things outside of my, my, my B words and my liquor, my money, all that stuff, you know, that's all you could really do. And if you ever thought about wanting to express some things outside of that little box, you would be called a name or people would think you were like this or you're like that. I still would say there's a ray of hope though. We have people like Common and Kanye West who are very good at what they do very great lyricist, and they rap about positive stuff. They send a real message to our kids. So hopefully that will be infectious within the hip hop community. You know, I, I would really like to see more of that. It's always been about business and money. You know what I'm saying? You get the business done, you get your money. That's just how I see it. So as far as the way it's going, it's just like R&B for instance. It is not the same as 90s. I'm not saying everything got to be exactly the same. Things change. But it's just the whole atmosphere of music is just in a whole different direction. I feel like it's corrupted in a way, to be honest with you, for the simple fact that a lot of, a lot of people are signing a lot of these artists just to put out their one hit. And then when they come out with their album, they don't sell. They fly. You never hear from them again. You know, it's just weird to me. The vibe is different. It ain't the same, which I really wish it could be the same. I want to snap and pop and, you know, really, I'm not saying that's bad music. It's just not saying much to our youth. It's not giving them a bright message. And, you know, like, for example, Kanye West, when he wrote that Jesus Walk With Me. How many rappers you know rap about Jesus or any kind of religious figure? A lot of artists out there still throwing little subliminal shots at each other. You know, the all just beefing with this person and that person. Why why can't we just make good music? You know what I'm saying? Like why can't we just make a hot record and just we all just vibe to it, you know? I mean of course there's gonna be some people that you don't like. Why well, you got a broadcast to make a lot of people that look up to you want to do the same thing when they got a problem with somebody else, you know? But what I'm liking now is that there's still a lot of that going on, and it kind of turned me off of hip-hop a little bit, but it's slowly turning around, it's slowly changing. And you can hear it in the way how people carry their images now. You know, they they don't have to walk around looking a certain way. People are being more individuals, and it's coming through with their music, so I think that's the beautiful thing.